Hello, I'm April from Vermaculture's Eating Healthy for Beginners, and this video is all about avocados. Okay, so today to talk about avocados, we're going to talk about what, how do you know it's ripe or not ripe, how to use it, how to eat it, how it tastes good, and how to store it if it's cut open and you want to keep some. So I, I have three avocados, so it's a good video for me today because I have them at different stages. Okay, so this one is green. It's very hard, so when I press it, it's really hard. So that it's not ripe, okay? If I cut it open, I personally am not going to enjoy it. So that one, that one's going to stay out and get ripe, okay? So then there's these two. They're both black. They're ripe, okay? This one is just a bit soft. So if I press it just a little bit, I can see that it's getting soft. This one, if I press it, there's one spot in particular here. So my thumb goes in quite a bit. Oh, I just cracked it with all my pressing. Okay, so it's feeling a bit crusty. So it's not good. I think I'll show you. I'll open it, we'll see what it looks like inside because that really, really tells you. Okay, so that's the three I've got today. All right, so I'm not gonna cut this one open today, but I am gonna make a snack <laughs> with the crackers with this one. So we'll cut open this one, which I think is not ripe. Okay. So all you do is, okay, that's, that's the stem, where the stem goes, and so I usually cut it around that way because I find it easy to get the pit out and everything that way. So it's really not cutting well. All right, so for your first look, it's gross, right? <laughs> okay, so if you open your avocado and it's got all these blacky brown bits and stuff, and it just doesn't look very nice like that, that is gone bad. So this avocado is no longer good. There's not even really good bits to eat. Okay, so that one's no good. So we're gonna toss that one. This one should be good. So it's sliding through nice and smooth. One good thing about avocados is that they're nice and creamy. Oh, look at that, it's nice. Okay, so when you open it, this is the pit and this is the flesh. Okay, so when I take it out, I can see there's some little brown bits around the edge, and personally, I'm not going to eat that. I'll just kind of, it's like peeling a bruise off a banana. You just don't need to eat that bit. And there's a few ways to get the pit out. My husband has a special technique where he slams the knife in, turns it. But these avocados are quite soft, it doesn't need it, so I can even just squish it and get the pit out, just like that. So that's done. And then, some people peel their avocados, and that's quite neat. Some people take a spoon, I can get one, and just dig it out like that, and that keeps your fingers clean. Okay, and I usually just stick my fingers in <laughs> and wash them after. So I usually just stick my fingers in and pop the whole half out, just like that. And then, so those are the brown bits I was telling you about, and so I'm just taking them off. So they kind of just popped out. It's like they know they're not supposed to be there. Okay, so the problem is with my technique is that my fingers are all dirty and I have to go wash them. Whereas with the spoon, I didn't. So with avocados, there's quite a number of ways to use them. And, oh look, I'm just doing it again. Yeah, that's my way. Okay, so there's quite a number of ways to use avocados, and our favorite way is on bread or toast, something like that, simple meal. So all I usually do is squish it. So avocados can be nice and squishy, and you can make guacamole by squishing it like this and adding some salt and pepper, maybe um, a, a tablespoon of lime or two tablespoons of lime, 
um, a few tablespoons of salsa. That's my easy guacamole. Or you can make, well, you can cut them like this. So that's the squishy method. You can cut them in nice slices like this and put them in your salad. Or put them on a cracker in a nice and fancy way. Whoop. Okay, but if you're going to eat it, you need to eat it now <laughs> with avocado. So if you're making a salad for later, I wouldn't put in an avocado. It'll go brown. Okay, so if you want to make a spread, so a lot of people want to know how to make avocado spread, you can take some avocado, salt and pepper, like a bit of lemon, maybe a quarter of, of a juicy, juicy lemon. That one's juicy. Some olive oil. Mix it all together and then spread it out. Okay, so the fat that's in olive oil is in avocado, this really heart healthy fat, so that's good. Or for baby food, you can mix some of the mashed avocado with some banana, and that's a really great, or just, just plain avocado, that's really great. So my method is salt, squished on a cracker on a piece of bread, Salt and pepper. And then you put it on a plate and you eat it. So it's a very easy snack and um, while we were traveling we often just bought a loaf of bread. It's not the best but anyway we bought a loaf of bread and avocados if they were there and we just made an avocado on bread sandwich for many lunches because we traveled um, yeah, recently around Australia for a long time now we're back in our little home well new home new kitchen so that's that's the snack and if you used if I was going to use only half of the avocado then I would put it in the fridge wrapping it in plastic wrap for example or you can put it if you mix it with lemon, oh, that's why I had the lemon out. Lemon is an antioxidant, so it'll st it'll stop your avocado from going brown after it's on there. So if you did want to put it in a salad, you could squeeze some lemon on it, mix it all around. You could also squeeze apple cider vinegar on it, mix it all around, and that'll stop it from going brown mostly. And then one technique I've heard of but I haven't actually tried is storing half an avocado in a container with half an onion because apparently that'll stop it from going brown. If it does go brown, all you do is scrape the, just a tiny bit off the top and that will take off the brown bit and you can eat the rest, that's fine, it's no problem. One so, of the main reasons we eat avocados is because of its healthy fat. So it's a mono unsaturated fat. <laughs> I usually don't pay attention to all the big words. I just think uh, it's healthy, I'm eating it. So. But there's a, there's a lot of good things, and I'm going to go look at my list and come right back and tell you. Okay, I had to look at my list, because I made a list, as I tend to forget the details. So, avocados are high in folate, which, if you're pregnant, that's important. And vitamin K, fiber. So, fiber is very important. If you're starting to eat healthy, you want to have a lot of fiber in your diet. So, avocados, one of those. The fat is called monounsaturated oleic acid. So it's similar to what's in olive oil, and so if you are concerned about heart disease, it's a good food to add into your diet, but check with your nutritionist, doctor, or yourself. So okay. bananas have a lot of potassium, avocados have even more. So it's one of these superfood foods. It's got a lot of goodness, and um, those are the main ones. You can have a look online, see what it does for you. I find if you focus on the good then the bad kind of falls away. So if you're focusing on avocados, I need to eat them, they're good for me, then you'll probably replace something else that wasn't so good with that. And so if you add a little sea salt or Himalayan salt to it, it tastes really good and you can have a bite. I'm gonna have a snack after this. Okay, so for more um, foods, what to do with them, how to eat them, how to make them taste good. 
subscribe to our email list and subscribe to our YouTube channel and we'll see you around for the next video which might be passion fruit because they're also in season here and we, we've got a lot of them. <laughs> okay, see you next time.